How's it going YouTube? Van Damage here with another video. Uh, if you saw my last one, then you know that I'm going to be trying to get away from doing, uh, you know, the builds for a little while here. Um, one, I just don't have the time to do them anymore. Uh, I know it's been a couple of years since I've done, you know, a build and really shown you guys how it works. But, uh, you know, I've realized that's not something I'm able to do very frequently anymore. Um, and I've also been investing my money otherwise. Uh, so I started taking my money out of, you know, savings and stuff like that. Well, not all of it, but, you know, a decent portion of, a portion of it. And I've started investing in gold and silver. And I'm going to talk to you about two different types of uh, ways that you can invest your money in gold and silver. But I'm also going to show you something I just got in today. And then I got this up here to show you what, you know, the other way of investing is. So I'm going to get right into it. Uh, I meant to do an unboxing video, but unfortunately, I got too excited and just opened the box all willy-nilly like. Uh, so like I said, I'm starting to invest a little different, my money a little bit differently. And uh, the way I'm doing that is gold and silver coins. So... What I just got in today was a stack of 20. Anytime, if you're on my channel, anytime you hear me refer to something as a stack, just you know, remember it's gonna be 20 coins. Um, but yeah, I'll show you what I've got. So this right here is a 2018 silver coin. Let me see if it'll autofocus. Come on, autofocus. Oh, it was doing it earlier. Here we go. So yeah, you can see Queen Elizabeth. A $2 coin. This is worth a lot more than $2, I'll tell you that right now. And then on the front of it is a Storm Trooper. That is, and just look at the, that quality, it is phenomenal. It's a New Zealand mint coin. Um, <clears throat> but these, I got 20 coins, 10 of, you know, the Storm Trooper design, 10 of a different design, which I'll show you here in a second. Um, but at, the surprising thing is I got these really close to the spot price, which is how much the silver was valued at the day that I purchased it. Um, I mean, anytime you buy online, you're going to always wind up spending a little more than what the value of the silver is. It's going to be a couple of dollars usually just because that's the, um, the cost of minting the coins, um, you know, paying the workers, all that stuff. You, know, you gotta have that extra cost in there always. Uh, but you're not gonna spend too much more than the actual value of the silver. So I got these really close to spot. I think it was like $17 and $18 a coin, but you know, between this one and the other design. Uh, let me put this away. And I'll show you what the other design is. So like I said, I got 20 coins, you know, 10, you know, 10 of the stormtroopers, which are this half of it. And then I got 10, if I can pull the coin out. And it's still got Queen Elizabeth on the back of it. Let me, there we go. So you got Queen Elizabeth on the back of it. 2017 Darth Vader coins. So I got 10 of these as well. And like I said, I got these pretty close to at spot. I mean, let's see. You can see me in the reflection here. It's just, you know, the mirror polish on it. The detail that they put into this, these are just phenomenal coins. And, you know, any if any of you guys actually know me, you know that I'm a huge Star Wars fan. You know, I collect everything and anything Star Wars. One of my videos actually was turning a Darth Vader lightsaber into a, uh, you know, an e-sig just because I could, one, and I was trying to quit smoking at the time. As my other reason, well, that's not going to close. I have to put the rings on it. Okay, so like I said earlier, you know, there are two different ways you can collect. I just wanted to show off what, you know, what I got today. So it's kind of an unboxing and, you know, little advice here. So, you know, I got these in today. These were, you know, very close to the spot price. It was a little bit more expensive than what a regular coin would be. But I still paid, you know, it was only like 20 cent more per coin. So, I mean, you know, 20, it, that's like, what, $4 extra that I spent on this set of 20 as opposed to, like, the Walking Liberty silver dollars. So, you know, that, you know, for getting some, one, something that I love, 
and then two, something that's going to be a good investment, you know, for my future, that's not a bad deal. Uh, so this is basically, you know, your, the at cost silver that you're buying. Um, you know, generally that you're not going to find this and there be anything special to it. Uh, I just got lucky this time somehow. And I'm not going to argue it because I'm actually very, very, very happy with this purchase. And I'm going to put, I got a, it has end caps that go on it. It's a little bit of a, little bit of a struggle at times. And I mean, you know, I bought this tube separate from the coins just because, I mean, look at it. This looks like something that you pull out of the Star Wars universe. All right, so you have your at cost coins. I meant for that to fall. And then you have uh, what's going to be called neurismatic value. Now, neurismatic mean the neurismatic value is basically something in a collection, you know, limited edition, limited mint, uh, limited release, you know, something that somebody's going to find a higher value in. Oh, excuse me. You're, you know, they're going to find a higher value in it than, you know, the actual silver content. And this is a prime example of that. So in this book, uh, let me see, there's only about, you know, there's less than one ounce of silver in here. Uh, there's six notes at five grams a piece. I think it's like point, point, uh, it wouldn't be a video if I didn't belch in it, obviously. Excuse me. But I think there's like 0. 0.96 ounces of silver in this. Now, one ounce of silver, as I'm taping this video, is right around $15, give or take. I don't have it pulled up right now, but, you know, it, it's about $15, one, one way or the other. Um, this is less than an ounce of silver, but it's valued over $200, and I'll show you why. And that's, like, including the album and, you know, everything with it. So, let's, let's get into this. You kind of saw it there. Uh, so, you know, you open to the front page and it gives you a quick rundown of what, you know, Star Wars and New Hope. Um, I'm not going to read over it. You know, if you want to read all of this, I'll, you know, I'll leave the camera over it for a second so you can read it. Uh, but I'm not going to read it. You can pause the video if you want to. Uh, so, you know, it gives you a quick synopsis of what's going on in A New Hope. And then you turn the page and you get this amazing picture of, you know, Luke Skywalker as, you know, just as he's holding the, uh, you know, Anakin Skywalker's lightsaber that he had whenever he lost his hand. And then over here is the silver note. Like I said, each one of these notes is five grams of silver. I'm going to pull, I'm only pulling one of these out because it's a pain getting them in and out. But I want to show you the quality of work in these if I can get the camera to there we go so all of these use like a still from the film uh, you can see the picture that was on the left there they colorize a portion of it and then they use a still from the film as the design on this on the actual silver part now each one of these is put in a um, you know a plastic you know, it's put in plastic to keep it from getting damaged because, you know, it's a very, very, very thin piece of silver. You don't want to mess it up. And then on the back side, because of uh, who minted it, which is the NIUE, you know, you got Queen Elizabeth. Now, here's one thing that I found interesting. I, I've shot this video twice now. And I noticed this on the first shot. You can see here, if I can get it to work, the Rebel and Imperial design that they incorporated on the back of it, where it says, you know, five grams of 0.999 silver worth one, you know, one dollar. This is amazing right here to me. Because they put all that time and effort into it, and you can see, you see the quality in these. They're just fantastic looking. But let me get this back in here. I'm gonna show you the rest of them. And uh, each one of these, you know, silver notes, Shit. Okay, it's still recording. I accidentally uh, hit an option on my phone and almost messed up the whole video again. But each one of these notes is a uh, serial numbered. So, you know, they, they did a limited edition, of, limited men of these. Uh, I don't want to go too long so you guys don't get too bored. But here's uh, page number two. You got uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. 
battling it out with Darth Vader over here. And like I said, the, uh, the picture on the left is going to be on the bill as well, or on the note as well. They have it colorized on one half, silver on the other. But you can see, you know, Obi-Wan Kenobi battle, duking it out with uh, Darth Vader. You got the Millennium Falcon on the, uh, in the background. And uh, each one of these notes, you know, like I said, it has the little Imperial and Rebel symbols on the back. And the way they did this book is all these pictures are kind of, they're, you know, they take the stills from the film, put it in here, or the movie posters, or, you know, what have you. It's just pretty amazing. And you got, you know, Chewbacca and Han Solo here. You know, that it, this, it, these are just amazing. You can see him firing off his uh, pistol there. Han always shoots first. I don't care what any of, you know, you can watch these newer versions that came out after 95. They're not, Han shot first in the original theatrical release. Why they decided to change that is beyond me. You know, Han was, uh, he was, he was one of my favorite characters there. Uh, then, of course, you have to have Carrie Fisher here as Princess Leia. Passing off the, uh, you know, the data, you know, the Death Star plans to R2-D2. I'm really trying to, I'm trying to get this at an angle where it's not, where I'm not reflected in this. Uh, but, you know, that's just the quality of work that they put into these notes here. It's just very well done. Um... And, you know, you, you have to have Darth Vader in here, have his own little sp section. And this is by far my favorite note out of the whole series, just because, you know, how, you know, they got Darth Vader depicted over here and, you know, him standing here going, you know, smell my finger. Yeah. No, he's not. He's pointing at her saying you're part of the Rebel Alliance and blah, blah, blah. You all know the rest. Um... I forgot to mention it, you know, each page has a little description of what's going on. Um, you know, it kind of gives you a, a quick s summary of, you know, what took place and all that fun stuff. And they just had to include R2-D2 and C-3PO in here. Oh, no, oh, excuse me. I'm not a huge fan of the, you know, of C-3PO. R2-D2, he's the you know, most foul mouth trash can you'd ever meet in your life. Bleep out every one of his lines. I mean, just looking at it, you see the detail in it. And if I were to get up closer, you you know, you can see how they did this. It's just phenomenal how they, how they made these. Let me get that to zoom in. Yeah, and that's the end of it. So yeah, like I said, there's two different types of gold and silver you can collect you can collect it for the you know the, as close to at cost like i did with those you know coins there or you can get it for the neurismatic value the neurismatic value is what a collector is willing to pay for it obviously you know this is worth over 200 dollars. obviously with less than an ounce of silver it's not actually valued at that but because of what it is i value it at you know as being worth more than what the silver content is just because it's Star Wars. But these ones, I was able to get very close to at cost. So it's all in how do you want to invest. So depending on what you're wanting to spend your money on, do you want to do it for the collect, you know, so you can sell it for a higher cost to a collector, or do you want to get it for, you know, way on down the road where it's going to be, wor where silver and gold prices are going to be worth a lot more than they are today. You know, it's all up to you. Uh, so I'm going to leave, I'm going to end this video here. Uh, you can expect more of these. I have a pirate chest full of, like literal pirate chest full of silver and gold right now. And uh, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to explain, you know, what I bought, why I bought it, all that craziness. And, uh, you know, you guys can, you know, choose to watch it, choose not to watch it. And I'm sorry the video is getting darker. The sun's kind of going down and I don't have my lights turned on. Um, but yeah, I hope this was a little informative for you guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, let me know what you think. Let me know what you want to see in the future as far as my videos are concerned. I would love to be able to tailor some more of these to what you guys want. Um, <clears throat> 
But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Have a good day. Um, I'll see you on my next video. Peace.